I'm so happy to be doing this, everybody, because when projects reach out, it puts me in a position that I have to go deep to understand the industry and our ecosystem in crypto. And honestly, guys, what's ahead in 2024, 2025? Some of these projects are going to do really well. Like in 2021, two and a half years ago, we had some incredible 10 to 100 expositions. Right now, they're down. I want to be honest with you. They're not that high. Some of them have collapsed. Some of them are still building. You want to know the good projects that even though the token is not right in the price that you saw it, they're still building. Well, how about if I tell you there's this one that could it be the next 100x? Could it be something really massive? I decided to go even deeper because you go on YouTube, everybody's saying 100x, this, this, this. I get it. We're all excited. Okay. But Oscar Ramos, I just want to go to the core and I investigated a little bit more. I even talked to the CEO and I'm about to show you a clip of me and him because I'm go all over from, are you a rock pull? Are you a scam? Are you a fake? Are you trying to be an imposter and just leave with all the customer funds? I said it. And all the way to how many listings, how many exchanges are banging your door because they want you out. That's basically why he told me that they're ready. So after over almost or so a year that they've been ongoing with this pre-sale, they're finally ready to start the last phase three of Pika Moon. Yes, you heard it right. I mean, when you hear that name, what comes to mind? I know, I know that comes to mind. And um, transparency, transparency is key in crypto. If you are, you know, putting yourself behind an NFT on Twitter, if you are just not showing your real face, that raises some red flags, right? I think everybody can understand that. But when you're putting your face there for everybody to see, and I know I had to, I had to, right? I was like, talk to me. And I'm going to play a, a, a quick soundbite for you guys. I can trust the team a little more. Now the price is 006, 0006. And there's 50 billion Pika Moon. Now, is that a good opportunity of an entry? Here's where it gets a little exciting. Not financial advice, everybody. I don't know the future, right? I'm just telling you, educating yourself and do the best you can. Look, top gaming projects right now. Here, IMX, Beam, Axie, Sandbox, Apecoin, Mana, and the name goes on and on. Where can Pika Moon, Pika Army put themselves into once they're launched, once they're, once they're officially live? Because nobody has listed them. They're not on Binance, they're not on Coinbase, they're not on KuCoin, they're not on Binance, they're not everywhere. And they have this economics distribution, and you know what happens when a project like this comes out. They have a beta on Android and iPhone for you to play of the game. And here the owner, the one of the you know founders, Nick, that's his real name, I was talking to him, he was somewhere in Asia, he told me, uh, I'm like, okay, like, are you guys for real? Is this something that you've been working on? And yes, you can check his LinkedIn and more. So I want to tell you everything you need to know. And if you want to go ahead and buy, be my guest, use my code OSCAR to put bonus score here, apply like this, OSCAR, and you're going to get 5%. Isn't that cool? All the links down below. Go and smash the like button, everybody. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on those notification bells. I'll put everything down in the description for more Pika updates as well as we might see more videos on this channel. Let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you want more from me. Now, when I started, I was like, okay, let, let me just see the very, very beginning. I go all the way to March 23, uh, March 23rd, 2023, which it was the 24 days ICO. So this was the first time they ever revealed that they ever launched, right? The initial coin offering. That was a price of 0002. You can no longer buy it at that price. Then, uh, you know, days, months later, they had 004. And then finally, right now, they're ramping on marketing. They're letting everybody know about Pika on the round three. Let's go ahead and hear a little bit exactly why. They're doing a bunch of marketing with the money that it seems that they're raising, right? Because 
They're not actually asking from different VCs their money. They want to be community based. Check this out. Yeah, of course. For sure. And it's okay. all to do with um, because we're a community backed project. The way we wanted to come into crypto was without a VC because we feel like Web3 is about changing the narrative, you know, giving the little person that voice. So for us to come in with a community backed project, self funded, we put everything we had into creating <clears throat> almost our dream. <clears throat> I've been in uh, crypto since 2017. And for me to actually be a part of something, the crypto revolution is just something which you can only dream about in the history books. And I believe with this team behind our projects, it's now the time to push marketing harder than ever. The bull market is around the corner. The halving is just... You know, it's. I think it's something like 57 days away. So we've waited for this actual moment to guide our community into the correct time to be in crypto rather than them just jumping in, hay hey sailing sort of thing. Not bad. I mean, um, as a founder, you have to understand when to launch. And in my opinion, that's not that's not bad at all. Now. They, he told me that there's you know, a set of developers that they're working on, and there's a list of exchanges that they're already saying, hey, when are you launching? So we understand that major players like, I mean, one that everybody knows, right? Gala. Gala had a beautiful time in 2021 when it exploded. And I remember that everybody was talking Gala. How about Il Illubium? Illubium went from $60 all the way to a thousand plus, almost 2000 bucks. Now it's 95. And I want to show you this. When you go on YouTube and you search for Pika Moon or so, there's a new video from Jake saying 100x gaming altcoin, and it showcases the excess these projects did. And it's actually true because most of the gaming altcoins did amazing in the last bull market. Now, are we going to have new gaming developers, gaming studios, gaming tokens? Yes, that's for sure. So whether it's Pikamon or them as well, guys, uh, well, I always want to put myself in a good position, right? So there's all kinds of gaming projects, but in this one, Pikamon is offering the following. When you come to the main page, the Pikamon pre-sale final count on 55 days, one of the fastest growing gaming tokens in the industry. And it all looks pretty interesting. NFT play to earn, Bass Pikaverse, Rewards Pika. So they're basically trying to grow as fast as possible, right? And some videos of the beta version of how it looks like. Um, so you want to go ahead and check it out. Play beta, you click here, and then you're going to open up this one. Play now, and you're going to be able to go ahead and try it out for yourself. Coming back here, they have different fire elements, water, electric, rock, and you name it. And all the different unique elements for you to check questions and answers and more. They do have a telegram with over 7,000 members and um, everybody's bullish basically what it is. If I check a token like Beam compared to IMX, you're looking about in the billions of market cap. Beam has 0 0.03 price. But here's one big one that I discovered. How many people have seen this? So pay attention. What is Beam's market cap and what is Beam's circulating supply? 51 billion, everybody. So, 1,000 million billion. And total supply is actually 62 billion. What is the price? Zero three. Zero three. And look at the all. Beam has exploded from zero four, zero zero four in 2023. So, it's actually doing fantastic overall. This is a token that I don't own. This is a token that is an ERC-20. And this is a token that, I mean, honestly, I wasn't even aware of. And where is it Where is it listed? Binance and it's missing Coinbase, right? So it still has some potential. Now, why am I saying this? Because this one, Pika, that's the almost basically less uh, circular than supply. And you're going to have a chance to get it at 0006. What an amazing opportunity, in my opinion, right? Uh, so FYI, just wanted to make sure that you understand that uh, and give it a try if you want, code Oscar. Now, I also talked about this with him. He basically saying the following. Take a look at the disclaimer. 
These are APYs that are going to change eventually. So it's not going to be like this eventually once it's, once it's live, because I mentioned him like, I mean, this is incredible having 12%, 28% awesome, but that is not sustainable in the long term. And he's like, of course, things are going to change. So I'm just trying to get you guys some of these questions and answers so you are uh, you know, aware. But one of the big things that I really, really liked is listings. And obviously that once it's live, that you're going to deliver. And that's what I was getting for you guys in this video. So far, they're pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. They're trying to get everybody to get their token. And in my opinion, right, um, there's always opportunities out there. Uh, 50 plus days is a long time for them to launch. There's a bunch of other different updates. But I think when they launch, if we start seeing Coinbase, a KuCoin, a Binx, a Binance, you don't want to be late. I'm not a genie, guys, but um, I like that the Twitter is verified. I like that we can see real faces. I've been talking with the team behind the scenes on Twitter, just trying to get all those, if we could say, difficult questions answered. And at the end of the day, please continue doing your research. This was my review, and I'm pretty, pretty okay. I like it. We'll pick up some. FYI, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.